I have a good morning, Karen. Of... Here we go. Who just said good morning, Karen? Is that Darlene? It's Heidi Miller. Heidi, hi. Hi, Heidi Ho. I'm sorry. You probably hear that way too much. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't hear it enough because you know there's a song behind that. I know. Heidi, hey, Heidi Ho. It's a jazz song and I got a hat here, so I got to get off video now. <laughs> I like your hat here. Get back on. <laughs> I'd rather see you. <laughs> awesome. All right. So I think we're ready. It looks to me like everything's recording. And let's get going. Um, if you please mute yourself, but put your hand up because we really need some stories coming in. This is Karen O'Neill. I'm hosting today for the very first time from La Cruz de Juanacasle in Nayarit, Mexico. Mexico. Um, I have moved here for those of you who don't know. And we're checking out the internet, see how well it's going to go from La Cruz de Juanacasle. And this is my favorite call of the week because it's where we share our stories. We talk about what's been going on. So be thinking about the story you want to share. We actually nicknamed this the Monday Morning Miracle Call. And I love the name because that's what it feels like is miracles when it, it works just sometimes so quickly and it always works. But remember, it's science. So please. Karen, I just muted you. I got unmuted. Thank you. Good job. So you guys are all muted. So um, what we do is we share our stories and make it kind of short, but try to get all the details in that are important. Please don't name any name disease because we don't make any claims that we um, diagnose, treat, or cure any name disease. What we do is we use these patches, this wonderful light therapy, and we let our bodies heal the way that they're meant to. And so just tell us your stories because it's really fun. And let me see if I can figure out who's got their hand up. I don't see any hands up yet. There's if you guys see any says Zoom. Okay, Zoom. Well, come on in. Why don't oh, you that may be Heidi. Oh, that's Heidi. Heidi. Yeah. I'm sorry. Come I still on haven't in, activated my, um, my new phone with my name and business name and all that jazz. So I have a testimonial on just using a product that some of us have but some of us don't have and that hey for me the screen is frozen is it frozen for everybody i need to know if i know no, no, yeah, yeah, yes it's frozen yeah. and um, okay yes i slept really well <laughs> So that I don't know awesome. if you hear me. I couldn't hear it. Um, Darlene, are you on yet? Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and I heard Karen, heard we did either, not Karen. hear it. I did not hear it. This oh, is nobody did. So it's not just me. See, I don't know about my internet yet. So, all right, try again, Heidi. Let's, let's, let's try again. Okay. So I can't sign because I've got to hold one hand, but this is Heidi Miller. I'm, I'm coming from uh, snowy Montpelier. It's 14 degrees out here. And um, I had just moved my office last night. So this is a testimony about the product that um, some of us may have and some of us may not. Um, it's not quite released yet, but it was the product that we were given by David Schmidt in Orlando. And it's the spritz. It's the small black container and it's a dream. So last night, I didn't have any of my other products. I didn't have my silent night patch. I didn't have anything. All I had was my, my bottle of dream because I keep it right next to my um, reading glasses. Um, and so as I was reading and I sprayed it on my wrist, I thought, oh my gosh, I just spent three hours moving and uh, I slept so well. <laughs> I love that stuff. That is wonderful. And you know, sometimes when you've been moving and you're working hard, your body's too tired to sleep. So uh, that is absolutely fabulous. And I could hear you that time, Heidi. That was wonderful. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. So I love that. So who else is going to come in and bless our community? It looks like Ruth Ann. Come on in, beautiful. Um, I had, it used to be my dentist. He's retired now, but he came and had a uh, shoulder. It was really bothering him. Could only lift his hand about uh, waist high and uh, did, did some ice waves and he was within a minute able to put his hand up over his head and put his hand on his head and then he left, he grabbed his steering wheel. He said, I haven't been able to hold my steering wheel with my right hand for weeks and weeks. 
Anyway, he came back over this weekend and um, he mentioned that he had something I never heard of. He called it a protein pump. I thought it was an something that had been uh, installed in his body, but is it's the protein flushes into his uh, esophagus and causes great distress. And he said, after the second day on the patch, and he's been on medication for that for decades, and he said, after the second day on the patch, he has not had one more incident of that. And I've never wow. heard of having, he's not what he was taking it for, but you get those extra benefits that you don't plan on. So it was, he was very happy. And he ordered a, a sleeve for his, his mother. And <laughs> so. I love that. Look at the quality of his life, how it's changed. That is amazing. Doesn't it make, just warm your heart, doesn't it? It's wonderful. Thank you. Beautiful story. And let's move on now. Jennifer and then Darlene. Hi, everybody. Um, I had a crazy incident last week. My, my little kitty, who is just a, a little sweetheart, cuddly kind of kitty, um, something was going on in his body that was hurting. And I went to pick him up and he hissed and scratched and uh, the very next morning when I did the same thing, I went to pick him up the way I normally do. Um, he bit me <laughs> and he drew blood and it was, uh, it, I, I'd, I'd never been bit by an animal before. So, and I've heard that it's not good to get bit by animals. So I went ahead and quickly took my X39 and X49 off of their normal spots and uh, after I dressed up my um, the bite and put a bandage bandage on it, I put the X39, X49, and then I thought, okay, glutathione so it doesn't get infected, and Eon so that the bruise goes away. So I had a pancake stack of four that I just put on there, and then at the end of the day, it was probably eight hours later when I was delivering something to a uh, customer of mine and she is a retired RN. I said, what would you do for a, a, an animal bite beyond, you know, just the triple antibiotic? And she goes, well, let me look at it. And she looked at it and she goes, how long ago did you say this was? It looks like three or four days old. I said, it was this morning. <laughs> so I was so excited. And the bruise that had started went completely away. And, um, the very next day, it had diminished to at least a third of its size. And at this time, you can't even see it. So, and that was, I don't know, five days ago. So, oh my gosh, thank very you for exciting. That. Yeah. Poor kitty. I hope the kitty's better. <laughs> oh, and then I, I've been putting all those same patches, my leftovers and some new eons on his. Uh, he, apparently, he injured himself. He fell off of a a uh, high place and injured his back a little bit. So he's way better. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So you both got better. We I did. love it. Thank you for sharing. You have a happier kitty and you got, that's why we call it the Monday morning miracle call. It's a perfect nickname because it just seems like a miracle. Sometimes <laughs> science does that, <laughs> especially our science. Thank you, Jennifer. All right, Darlene, come on in. Okay, good morning, everyone. I did an event on Saturday and I patched two people with Ice Wave. The first lady had um, back issues that she'd had for a long time, and her pain went away from what I forgot to ask her what level of pain she thought it was, but she said um, within a minute that her pain had reduced dramatically. And she was a vendor at the event also. And she came over three or four times during the day and said, I can't believe this. My pain is still gone. And the other person was um, just someone that had come to the event and her shoulder was really bothering her. She said it hurt to move it around. And I said, well, I'll ice wave patch you if you want. And she said, well, I'll try it. And the moment I put the patches on her, she had this shocked look come on her face. And she said, the pain's gone. I can't believe this. The pain is gone. And she's moving her arm all around. 
And she's saying, this is unbelievable. And so she came back to the booth and I really gave her a lot of different information and she was just so excited. So if you're doing events, I would definitely suggest taking Ice Wave as the patch to patch people with instead of an X39, because in my experience, they're finding the paint goes away very, very quickly. Yeah, uh, you're right. And it's, it's almost instant. And that's, you know, it does seem like magic. And it's so exciting. Pain is an awful thing. None of us like it. And it's wonderful when you can get someone out of it immediately. Thank you. You work so hard and you do so much to help people. I love it. So you're awesome. So, all right. Oh, I love the stories coming in. We got Anne Marie and then Susan. All right. Anne Marie, come on in. Don't forget to unmute. There you go. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Um, this is about actually myself uh, and how I ended up patching for pain, swelling, and bruising. But this was uh, Tuesday night. I was up late watching the election returns in the kitchen, just multitasking, cleaning up, and distracted, paying attention to the TV and whatever. And all of a sudden, I found myself on my ceramic floor with my head hitting it very hard, my chin and my cheekbone what? feeling sore and painful immediately. And I think the tread on my bottom of my shoe just kind of scuffed along the floor when I took a few steps and I didn't realize I was tired watching the television, paying attention. And I just, the next thing I knew I was in severe pain and stunned almost. I got myself up, but I was, I felt stunned. Thank goodness I had my patches all in the kitchen. I had ice in the fridge and freezer and I immediately, immediately reached for the patches and my um, hat, my cap. And I started putting all the patches in for the brain protocol because my, I was feeling a little bit fuzzy, a little dizzy, just a little bit blurred vision. And I'm sure it was just the shock and the trauma, but I must have put, I've been trying to count them this morning. I think I put about 20 patches on. I put energy enhancers. I hit my ribs and I ended up finding out I fractured two ribs as well. So I I put I had put energy enhancer just because of unblocking the chi. And I'd heard several people on Zooms mentioning that, but also I put, of course, ice wave the tan on the pain, the severe pain part, the white opposite or through a joint, even to the back, through through my whole body to the back. And I put Eon and glutathione on top of the tan. I put um, a repeat of that on my chin, on my ribs. I hit my kneecap on my right knee. So I put more there. Same thing, ice wave, Eon, glutathione stacked on the tan. I think I put two or three X39s, one at C7, one below the belly button. And um, I think my worst pain was on my ribs. So I put one somewhere in there too. And then my hat. I mean, I put the hat on within three or four minutes. I'm just glad I had the presence of mind to be able to know what to do. Because otherwise it would have been a call to 911, I'm afraid. Or my husband would have had to take him to the ER. <laughs> so yeah, yeah that was an awful it was awful, but the patches, I mean, I ended up sleeping pretty well. I must say I took a couple of my CBD, my whole extract CBDs too, you know, for the pain of you know, just trying to sleep, get in the bed and sleep, but gay patches, they were wonderful. And, you know, maybe you didn't need that many patches, but honestly, I would have done the very same thing when I had my shoulder, had broken my shoulder and had surgery. I sometimes had 10, 12 patches just in this area. If something started hurting again, I just slapped another one on and exactly. I never lost a night. So I think you did the right thing. And, you know, so what if you used a ton of patches? If you weren't in pain, that's like a miracle. Well, the miracle. difference would have been I would have had to take some severe pain medication. I would have had to go to the ER and get it. So it, to me, it was worth it, whatever it was. I love and it. It and certainly helped. I mean, within five minutes, I was probably 50% reduced in that severe pain and shock. And then the hat, I don't know what I would have done without this because I was really wondering what I did to my head. So, yeah, I know some people are wondering about that hat protocol. It's mm -hmm. for your head, for your brain. It kind of balances your brain. What you do is you just take any hat and you put on the front and the right side, you put a white ice wave. 
and uh, was it ice wave or energy, you guys? Somehow I energy, energy in the front and the back. Yeah. And the two Sorry. Sides. And then you, put, yeah, on the left and the back, right in the back, you put the brown energy patch. On the top, you can put Eon and um, Blue Ion. And X39 is new since they started that protocol. So most of us just add an X39 on the top. And I always have a hat handy. I get those little things um, that are an ocular, like I don't get pain with them, but it's flashing lights and they used to last hours and it goes off. So you were really smart to put that one on there. Um, that was awesome. Thank so, you. okay. So, and you can find that head protocol. Um, I don't know where you can find it. Live, younger, live younger products. Cause actually my computer was up because I was watching the uh, elections and I went to the brain protocol real quick, live younger products under patching protocols. Cause I had to refresh cause I wasn't thinking too well. And I had my computer right up. I mean, everything was so handy. I was blessed. Yes. Yes. I think they call it the head protocol. So. Yeah. The brain, brain protocol. Yeah, but it's do they also in the Live Younger Success Resources uh, section in the library? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So thank you. I know everybody really should have a hat with patches on it. And it also helps you focus. So some people call it hat protocol. Some people head, some people brain, but it's, it's the same thing. So thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, we have, we're gonna move on. That was a great story. And we have Sarah and then Rita and then Susan. I'm, I don't know if that was the right order, but that's how we're gonna do it. <laughs> so don't forget to okay. unmute. Thank you very much. Uh, so I only signed up last week and this is all very new to me. I'm curious about the HAT protocol. Does anyone have any uh, testimonials regarding the HAT protocol and migraine? Um, you know what, just try it. I think some, you know, we can't really do name diseases right now, but try uh, it for anything you're having going on. Okay. And see, okay. For, you know, for some people, one thing will work for them and another won't, it depends on the cause. So right. uh, just give it a go. Hey, it's Helen. And I want to remind people, you can go to live younger Facebook or vibrant living and then go to search and you could put in hat protocol or brain there protocol that bring head. anything you want you can search anything you want and grab a story oh helen that's wonderful thank you for reminding us about that and tell your story in there when you have a story please write it up and tell it in there okay next i think is it rita next and then susan i think it was actually susan first if we're taking turns well, you're all unmuted, so come on in. Okay, I'm all unmuted, so let me share with you. Um, I have until fairly recently worked very part-time at an independent senior facility in my hometown. Now, there's nobody, either staff or residents, that couldn't benefit from using patches. And I have not been successful in getting my toe in the door until this past week. And there's a woman who is on hospice at the moment, has expressed the wish to get another Christmas and another Thanksgiving. And so I started patching her last week and with a bunch of patches. And I am hearing that she is doing better. So yay, yay, yay. I love that. For the development. That is awesome. Um, thanks for sharing. And you know what? You might want to put that in there. It's nothing like being on hospice and getting more time, right? There's We have a story out there, too, about a gal who was going into hospice because she couldn't breathe anymore. And she started using the patches, and she didn't ever have to go to hospice, and she's driving and everything. I mean, we're not going to have that kind of a miracle every time, but might as well give it a go because you never know when that's going to happen. So thank right. you, Rita. And and Part for keeping up trying and trying to help people and the and the intention is to help this woman have however much time she has left and who knows that that right. easier and happier and easier for the staff to care for because she's been labeled the management problem so let's unprocess wow. that hang on i got a mess here <laughs> that is <laughs> wonderful and you know, the, I'm sorry, quality of life is a big deal. And, you know, no matter how much time a person has when their quality of life is better, that doesn't get better than that. 
All right, let's move on to Nora and Arlene and Susan Elizabeth. If, did you still have something to say? Your hand is still up and just leave it up if you do. Okay, go yes, ahead, I Sarah do. and Arlene. Wait, Susan, yeah, let's go for Susan. I oh, think it's Sarah okay. that's still up. Hey. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, so I have several I'm going to put together just a little bit quickly. Um, I had my eye exam two weeks ago, and I had told my doctor a year ago that I'd started the patches and she could look for great results this year. And I kid you not, she just kept repeating, I cannot believe how healthy your eyes are. I cannot believe. And of course, I said, I know for someone who's almost 68, right? So that's my first miracle story there. And by the way, I did not do any specific eye protocols. I was only doing the brain balancing protocol at night. And I do wear my brain hat fairly regularly. So just to kind of let you know, um, while I was at that exam, believe it or not, as um, I got a call from someone using the patches. Her husband had blood work that showed that a certain, we'll just call it um, toxic effect in his body dropped a thousand points from the last test a month ago, which, right, I mean, just huge. And her blood pressure had dropped 30 points in three and a half months on the patches. And then lastly, let me just share at my family reunion to see my cousin who has basically been immobilized, be able to play the guitar and sing. This was the weekend of November 6th. I mean, just kind of like back to life. Um, just absolutely phenomenal. What a gift. Thank you, LifeWave. <laughs> That's awesome. That is beautiful. Thank you, Susan. All right, let's go with Darlene and then John. Okay, for the lady who was asking about the headache issue, um, my daughter gets those kind of headaches and she came to visit one time to help me do an event and woke up with one. We put the cap on her head, told her to lay back down. Within about 30 minutes, she said, I'm feeling way, way better. She did wear the hat all during the event. She says, I don't care what I look like. I don't want it to come back, but... It did really uh, make her uh, headache go away. And I've had, I think, three other um, customers that I have loaned them a cap with the patches in it to see if it would work for them. And every one of them did have good results. So you should try it. It does make a big difference. Uh, thank you for sharing, darling. That is awesome. Okay, so let's move on, darling. You always have really good stories too. I love it. So, John, come on in. Yes. Good morning, everybody. I'm um, I'm fairly new to all this. I, this is on my what twenty second day, and I'm seventy three years old, and and I've never felt better in my life uh, up to this point. And I thought, well, what can LifeWave do for me? And so I, I can just you know I'm trying to create stories for everybody, but. Um, here's my story is that uh, what happened was I, I took the X39 and I thought, well, okay, I'll see what happens here. You know, uh, I'm very open to, to just getting healthier every day. And so um, it did actually three things for me. And, and like I said, I'm on my 22nd day. It, it's getting actually better every single day. The three things that it did for me is it I have, I'm very fortunate. I have great energy already brought my energy level up to another point where not only do I have more energy, but my energy is, is spent uh, wanting to share it with others and tell other people about what LifeWave can do for you. So that, that to me is just phenomenal that that energy just picked me up so much more that I, I talked to a bit before five, I look at everybody now and I say, you can use LifeWave, you know, you need LifeWave. <laughs> so that's, that's one of the things that it did for me. The second thing it did is it leveled my mood up to another level. My, my family, um, you know, this nutrition and, and health journey that I've been on uh, has been pretty, pretty interesting because my family is not on board with that. They, they're into their own habits and, and eating, um, you know, the things that they eat. And, and it's just been a difficult trail there. But uh, 
you know, they won't even, my wife won't even try the life patch, you know, for the, the life wave patch. Uh, it's, it's amazing that, you know, I, I run into that kind of situation. So what it did was it leveled my mood up another notch to a point where I can handle all their uh, blowback, I guess is what you want to call it. And, um, and you know, I, I get along fine with my family to, to that, to a certain extent, but now I've, I've, my mood is, is fine for that. And I can handle that. And I'm, I'm a patient person. The third thing it's done for me. And, and it's been amazing is I make sure that I get eight hours sleep, uh, at least eight hours in bed. And now my sleep is so much deeper. Uh, it, it, it's phenomenal. So I just look forward to every single day. I jump out of bed. I don't jump out of bed as much as I jump out of bed and start jogging. I feel so good in the morning, uh, you know, right in place. So I, I think that this, I've always tried to get down to the absolute cellular level about, about good health. And this has taken me further than that. It's taken me to a point where um, not only is it to the cellular level, but it's activating more cells, stem cells. And, and it's just, I just love telling this story. So thank you, everybody. Oh, John, those were wonderful stories. And I just turned 73 on November 1st the day after I moved here to Mexico. So um, I, it's wonderful, you know, to be able to get better. But the fact that you were already on a very healthy journey, it's a lot like my friend Darlene there, that she was already really, really healthy and just amazed how much further this took her. And that's what you're finding out. And don't worry about the family. I'm going to share. I don't see any more hands up right now. So I had my older daughter, you know, sometimes your family that's the closest to you are the ones that poo-poo you the most. Cause like, how can you know something they don't know? Right. Well, my yeah. older daughter basically said to one of my other daughters, I'm never putting one of those. My daughter said she said stupid patches, but she swears she didn't say that word. But anyway, she was never going to put one on. Well, her husband, who is actually a little bit older than I am, not, not a lot, but a little bit, and about one year. Anyway, he had to get down the floor to do something, and he wrenched his back and couldn't move. And my younger daughter gave him an X39. And she gave my daughter one because she was at her house. And so she went home and gave it to him, even though she was never going to put one on. She let her husband put one on. The next morning, he calls me because he knew I was the business girl. And he says, where's my patches? And they are now my best customers. And matter of fact, when I came here, my order didn't come in time. And my daughter gave me some patches. And then she was going to take them out of my order because she had just ordered up. So she's, they use them all the time. So just give it time. I I don't remember how many months it was, at least six months before she even tried them. And, you know, they wouldn't be without them now, not for anything. So hang in there. And the fact that you're telling people, you're just like spreading fairy dust and joy all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. it. Okay. Thank so you. now let's go on to Cammy or Kame. How do you say your name? Don't forget to unmute. Kame. Kame. What a pretty name. Thank you. Um, I've, I've been lurking <laughs> for several <laughs> weeks. <clears throat> I have been on the patches for about two months. And um, I've had severe chronic debilitating pain for most of my adult life. I'm 74 as well. Um, but I um, was introduced to the patches this past summer. And I my doctor wanted to perform major surgery on my very crooked back. And um, by the grace of God, I didn't do it in January when it was scheduled and I was introduced to LifeWave this summer. And I was praying about it because I really don't wanna have this surgery. And uh, I uh, started using the X39 only for a week until my order came. And I'm sorry, I'm not very organized this morning in my mind. Uh, my pain went away the first day I used it. And it, average, average pain every day is probably six to eight. Um, and it went down. And now for the past two months, it's been an average of a one. And I have gotten off of nine medications, including uh, I was prescribed 60 oxycodone a month. Oh I, my have taken, I have taken six to maybe seven in the past two months. So uh, Botox injections in my back, you know, all these different things. 
my pain's manageable. You know, it's not completely gone. But I was telling in the meeting last night that the biggest side effect I can see of, of the patches is that I'm able to do so much now that I forget, you know, and I do, I do too much. But I had a party Monday night and I worked really hard for four days to get ready for it. And I thought Monday, I thought I'm going to be dying tonight and I'm not going to be enjoying the party. I, the pain was gone. I, mean, I normally would have taken a pain pill to be able to get through it. It, it was, it was doable the next morning. I thought I'll be in bed all day. I was not in bed all day. I was functional. These patches are truly my miracle. Um, God's miracle. They're not my miracle. But um, there's a lot more to my story. But I just wanted to share with you guys because uh, I, we're going to do a video of it. Janet's my um, senior executive. And we're going to do a video when I can had the time to really talk about it because it it truly has changed my life um so that is wonderful hanging in there that is a beautiful story like christina just said and i think it's wonderful and i'm glad you're going to do a video and and post it and because these are the things that give people hope and you know i'm i'm not against drugs that help you we need them sometimes i some of them are life-saving like you know I have to take a thyroid medicine that's the only thing I take but I also do know that taking prescription drugs as prescribed is the third or fourth leading cause of death in the U.S. Um, mm -hmm. so Cammie the fact that you're able to get off of so many of those things that you don't need anymore is wonderful celebration time I have, right. done this, I have done this in conjunction with my doctor you know I Perfect. didn't just go Perfect. off of them I good I, for you first did it on the oxycodone and I went in and told her and I said I want to get off the rest of them and so we've done this over the past two months and I have one that I'm getting off of completely so that's left but it's just a godsend you know it yeah. truly is when you when you don't need some of those drugs anymore because you're using the patches it, it's more life-saving than people realize Yes. And like I said, I, I would never put them down. I'm so glad you did that in conjunction with your doctors. Always consult with your doctors, especially when you're on heavy medications like that. And, you know, it's some things you can't just take off. So always, always, we don't ever want to take the place of your personal doctor. But wonderful. What beautiful stories, you guys. That's it. Liz, do you have any announcements? Um, I'm, I'm going to sign off for now. You guys, thank you for joining me. My first time from Mexico since I've moved here. And it's just been a joyful day. And I love Monday morning miracle call. Mexico, Mexico. Thank you. Yeah, when you get oh, when you get down to Puerto Vallarta area, let me know. I think you should come visit. I think so. Bye-bye for now. Gracias. Thank you, Karen. Bye, everybody. Gracias. See you tonight. Thank you, Karen. Right. Thank, Thank you, Karen. everyone. Thank you all. Hola, Maria. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Thank Bye. you. Great call. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful call. Thanks, Liz, for awesome. facilitating Kieran's amazing internet connection. What a great call. Thank you, everybody. Give her chocolate cake. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Have a great day. You too. Thanks.